Okay, if you don't have access to Canva, the next best, best tool to use for creating an infographic is Google Slides. So in order to create a slideshow that looks like an infographic, you're gonna click New Slides, and most of us know how to do that, right? But right now, this is not the size of an infographic. Infographics are usually long. So Pinterest is a great place to get inspiration for in infographics. So I'm gonna just have Pinterest up here like that. So this is a very long, narrow image. So I need to change the size of the slide. So I'm actually gonna go to File right here, Page Setup. And then I can change the size. So I'm actually gonna click Custom and you can actually um, change it around like in inches or pixels. You could use pixels too. Pixels is how things are measured on the internet. So if I wanted to find out how big an infographic usually is, um, well, you could go to Canva and it tells you, or I could click one of these and I could actually, I'm just zooming out here, I could actually measure it uh, by taking a little screenshot. So I'm doing, I'm on a Mac, uh, shift command four, and it gives me this little crosshair and it tells me how big an infographic is. Uh, it says 188 by 625. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. 188 by 625. File, page setup, custom, 188 by 625. And I'm going to click pixels. Oops. 188 by 625. Okay. So now it looks like an infographic. It's the size of an infographic. So I'm going to just delete these text boxes because I don't need them. And make sure you give your infographic a title. Okay, and then you can go ahead and start inserting text boxes. So you can click insert text box and then just put your title up at the top. You can change the fonts to whatever you want best social media platforms for kids. And then make sure you center your text. So if I click more and I click here, I can center it so it looks nicer. And then I'm gonna insert uh, image. So I'll click insert image and you can upload an image from your computer. You can go and search your drive you can go and search an image on Google. So I'm gonna just search Snapchat. And because this is for education purposes, it is legal for me to use these because it's under fair use. So I'm gonna click select. Uh-oh, I couldn't get that one for me. So let me see if I can get a different one. Image, let's just use that one. Okay, and there's my image here. And then I'm gonna put another insert, another text box here. And I'm going to, well, I need to find, I need to know some statistics about Snapchat. So I'm definitely gonna to need to do some research of my own to find information that I want to put on my infographic. I'm not just going to copy one of these Pinterest ones because that is illegal. <laughs> Um, so definitely illegal. So I'm going to click reset here. And so let's just Google, um, how popular is Snapchat for tweens? Snapchat is now the most popular social network among tweens. This is from Mashable.com. So let's click that and see what statistics it has. And definitely watch the movie about how to tell if a website is reliable or not, because there's, there's steps that you should definitely take in order to find out, is this information reliable? The fact that they have an author front and center is a good thing. 
Okay, so I'm just looking here to find some statistics. Oh, and the advertisements. We don't like that. It's definitely a business website. They're trying to make money here. Okay, so we're going to have to read a little bit about um, this. But you could just, you don't have to read the entire article, really. You could just go and find your statistic. But just make sure you write down somewhere where you got this information. Because it's important. Because if you ever write an article of your own, you'll want to cite where you got your information. So it says Snapchat, chat, um, this person did a study. He pulled 6,500 U.S. teens to see what they felt was the most important social network. And Snapchat took 28% of the votes. Instagram came in close second with 27%. Okay, so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to just go ahead and put um, that number here, 6,500. And I'm actually going to use that name, Piper Joffrey did a study and asked 6,500 6,500 teens what their favorite social media app is and Snapchat took 28% of the vote. Okay, now I need to make this way smaller. So I'm going to go ahead and just make this like seven because you want to fit a lot of information on your infographic and you can move the text boxes around a little bit so that um, it looks nice. You can even just click on the text box and click little arrows to move it around if you don't have a very good mouse. All right, so, and then I can even center this. So you're just, you're just gonna wanna play around with it, play around with um, the boxes and moving them around and centering and aligning left or right, but you get the idea. So that's how you use Google Slideshow to create an infographic.